Hello all, welcome to Let's Tute. To get more such videos, do subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon to never miss an update from us. We also have courses from different subjects. Do check them out on our website www.letstude.com. So, let's start with today's session. I got a severe headache and I just took a medicine to relieve it. But I was just wondering, we eat the medicine which goes to our stomach, but how does it act on our head? Well, our human body has an amazing transport system working constantly non-stop within our body, the circulatory system. Let's explore the same in this session. Do you know how the water reaches the taps in our houses? There is a motor pump that pumps up the water to reach the different floors through a network of pipes and the water finally reaches the taps. The human circulatory system too consists of a pumping organ called heart, the blood and the network of tubes called the blood vessels which carry the blood to different parts of the body. Let's learn each of these components one by one starting with the pumping organ heart. Where is the heart located? Yes, it is in the chest cavity. Is it on the left side? No my friends. The human heart is centrally located. The base of it is slightly tilted towards the left. Now, everyone just quickly fold your palm to form a fist. That's actually the size of our heart. The size of our folded fist. It is externally protected by a double membraned sac-like structure called the pericardium. Internally, it can be divided into four chambers. The upper two chambers are called the atrium. They are the receiving chambers for the blood reaches or is received by these two chambers, the left atrium and the right atrium. The lower two chambers are called ventricles the right ventricle and the left ventricle. They are the discharging chambers. For the blood is pumped out from these chambers. These atria and ventricles are separated by a cardiac wall called the septum. The septum prevents the mixing up of the bloods in each chamber. Each of these chambers is guarded by valves. The valves ensure that the blood flows only in one direction. The tricuspid valve is present between the right atrium and the ventricle. These valves are thin flaps of tissues called cusps. If you carefully observe the image, there are three cusps here. Hence the name tricuspid valves. The valve present between the left atrium and the left ventricles is called the mitral valve. There are two more valves present in the opening of the ventricles and the blood vessels. The right ventricle has pulmonary valve and the left ventricle has aortic valve. We will understand the importance of these chambers and valves in detail when we study blood circulation in our upcoming sessions. Also, do not get confused with the left and right in the image with your left and right. Imagine a person standing in front of you, so their left is your right and their right will be your left, hence the difference. So friends, with this we wrap the major structural aspect of the pumping organ, the heart. We will learn about blood vessels and blood in our upcoming sessions. I hope you have found this session informative. If yes, then please hit the like button and share the video with your friends. Press that subscribe button if you haven't done that yet and that bell icon too to receive constant updates from us. See you soon. Until then, keep watching, keep learning. Thank you.